This uh, summer I've had the uh, privilege of serving on a number of uh, interim study committees. They're, those committees are very important to what takes place uh, in the legislative session because any bill that comes out of a study committee generally is looked at favorably by the legislature. Uh, two of the committees that I've served on, uh, one of which is the Sentencing Policy Commission, and I've had the opportunity to serve on that for some time. And this year we have been looking at uh, not only the criminal laws and uh, how we can make changes in those, but we also took some time to look at the new judicial uh, internet uh, accumulation of information that brings them all of the information from all of the county courts and all of, uh, of the state into Indianapolis to the Supreme Court. And whether that's the right way to do it or whether having computer systems that just are compatible is the right way to do it. We've spent a lot of time at looking at that. It appears right now that the individual counties that have those uh, computer systems are doing it more effectively, more efficiently, and more or less costly than the statewide system. So that, that was one of the issues we looked at in the sentencing policy. The other committee, the Criminal Code Evaluation Committee, is one that I think is very important to the state of Indiana, not only because we are looking at criminal law, but because we are looking at how can we deal with people and quit sending so many people to prison and filling the prisons up. It's costing us around $28,000 per person per year and we've got over 30,000 people in prison. Uh, that's just a very costly way to deal with people who break the law. So we're looking at how can we deal with them more effectively? How can we punish if that's what needs to be done? How can we rehabilitate? How can we keep them from coming back? And we're doing that through looking at community correction centers and providing a program so that they can come back into the community, we can help them get jobs, and keep them from coming back to prison.